this lesson, we're going to be looking at a song called Overjoyed. We're going to lay all of the things we're going to be learning into the context of a song. This is going to be the introduction to Overjoyed, which then will go into the verse. The thing that this introduction is going to instruct us in is how to kind of branch out. We've, we've learned the basics of the Travis Picking Method. Now we're going to ground those basics into the introduction of a song and figure out how to maybe add some frills to maybe make it more interesting. The Travis Picking Method starts with that kind of thumb middle, thumb index, thumb middle, thumb index. And so what we're doing is we're shaping the first chord. We're shaping it by putting an index finger on the first fret. And again, we're capoed on seven, so this is the eighth fret. We're going to have our pinky finger on the D string on the tenth fret and our middle finger on the B string on the eighth fret. And so it makes a C major seven at nine chord, very pretty chord. Now before we go into the technique itself, I'll show you the next chord, which is probably very familiar. It's an E minor shape. It's going to be made on the ninth fret. It's going to be open. You're going to have your index finger on the A string, the ninth fret, and your middle finger on the D string on the ninth fret, and everything else is open. We're going to be basing everything off of those two chords. The first part of this little introduction is going to utilize the Travis picking method and it's going to throw little moving melody lines into the top finger and into the index finger, so the middle and the index finger. So the first part is, it goes like this. So we're going to have this picking method that's very basic here. And a way to kind of break this down is just kind of get this moving and then slowly lift up that middle finger. Put it down. So you'll see I'm just inserting it into the pattern itself. And then you can lay down other fingers. So we got this bum. Lay down the ring finger on that G string, ninth fret. where I can pull off on this ring finger. Okay, so I'm just lifting that up and hitting my middle finger again. And then I'm going to fall to my index finger, which lands on that D string there. So you'll see I'm just systematically walking down from the B string to the G string and to the D string. Very slowed down. It's going to be together, thumb, index, together is going to open up that middle finger. We're going to open it up. We're going to lay down the ring finger, pick up the ring finger, and then land on that pinky. So we're just going back and forth between that middle finger and that index finger and the thumb. But every time I hit a different finger, see I'm just rocking back and forth. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. Every time I go, I'm just changing notes. Very easy way to incorporate melody. So, we're still keeping that... still keeping that thumb moving on the quarter note. That thumb is just going the entire time. Now when we go into the next phase of this little lick, the thumb is actually going to become a little bit more sporadic. And what we're utilizing here, we're landing on a B minor chord and we're utilizing what are, what are called passing tones. So we're passing between tones in that chord and we're using little complementary tones to make a little bit of an interesting sound. So here's how the, the whole thing runs together. When we land on this B minor, we do a thumb and a middle together, thumb by itself. So we got thumb by itself, or thumb together, thumb by itself, we're sliding up with that middle finger. With my index, I'm pulling off on my right hand, and my middle finger hits that G string. 
and I'm following with that thumb. Okay. And then I'm going to hit that thumb in between, and now I'm going to jump up to my G string, and I'm going to hit the 11th, 12th, and then I'm going to hit the 14th fret. And then I'm going to hit the thumb again in between that little section. And B string, index finger on the 12th fret of that B string. So you're just seeing a, a thumb kind of insert itself in the space. Once again, slide, G string, thumb, G string 11, 12, 14, index, open B string. So we're just throwing a little bit of a hitch into the Travis picking method, which allows for a little bit of melody incorporation. So this pattern, which is very simplistic, very straightforward, now becomes interesting. So another thing that you can do with the Travis picking method is replace your thumb with the pick itself, and this is going to just help when you go into verse sections and chorus sections, so you don't have to either place a pick up here or on your knee or something like that. It just makes it easier to transition between sections of a song. So what I, all I'm really gonna do, I'm gonna keep the same fingering, the same toggle back in tween, between my thumb and my fingers, but when I throw that pick in there, it's gonna utilize more my middle finger and my ring finger now, rather than my index and middle. I'm taking that index away. So the middle's replacing the index, the ring is replacing that middle and this is what it sounds like. So what you may have noticed is that when I went to a pick, the fingering changed just a little bit, the sound on that bottom note changed a little bit, and also the position of my wrist flattened out, which is more typical of what you'll see when you're actually strumming a song or playing more of a rhythm section, which we'll go into when we get to the chorus of this song. So we've taken something like the Travis picking method, which is a very simple method, and we've incorporated some interesting melody within it. We've also shown how you can throw that thumb off just a little bit, and include some passing tones and some moving up the neck um, that also adds some interest to your playing. Then we threw in another variable, which adding the pick throws in a different fingering. It throws the wrist down a little bit and adds a little bit more color to your playing as well. This should keep you busy um, practicing. I would just take everything slow and very calculated and practice slow first with the thumb. That'll be an easier way for you to learn and then try throwing in the pick.